So this is Beyond the Wilds, and before that, remember remembrances. <sighs> we, we, I, I'm sure you're wondering, why didn't you do a talk about remembrances? It's, for anyone that doesn't know or didn't hear it. It's a fucking clip show! It's a fucking clip show, but to their credit, uh, the creators released this statement that sounded pretty bitter and angry. <laughs> um, yeah, in the most diplomatic way possible, they were just like, Nickelodeon fucked us. And so now, unfortunately, we have to fuck you. <laughs> and not in the good way, but more like the bend over and just take it. <laughs> but honestly, with them just coming out and admitting that, I I'm kind of like, okay. Oh, that was the best move they could have made. Yeah, I mean, I, it's like... like... Honestly, the end result of this is everybody feels bad for the creators and is like, what the fuck, Nickelodeon? Are I, you guys just run by rhesus monkeys? What I, the hell? I, I, at this point, I mean, my guess is there because so much drama has been caused over all this and stuff, I'm sure they're just like, you know what? I don't think we're going to work here again. Let's just... I mean, they they're not like burning nobody, their bridges necessarily, Nobody but... in their right mind should be working for Nickelodeon right now, period. I mean, obviously the inmates are running the asylum. Well, and they've been talking, what would you say, like, there was even talk about, like, because now it's kind of back on TV or it's on a news site or something. Oh, no, it's like to direct no. uh, new so traffic after, to, like, some of these sites. After all of this, after all of this horse shit, <laughs> after all of this, Nick says a couple days after this release came out, oh, well, you know what, we're going to run it on TV on one of our, like, other affiliate networks. Nick, not Spongebob for 24-7 network or whatever they've got running. So I'm sitting here and I'm like, so wait a second. You mean I've been watching this online for the past, like, what, six, seven weeks now, and you were going to release it anyway on TV? What the fuck? So like, I, come on! There's talk about whether or not this was, like, a big conspiracy to, like, drive traffic to other places and I stuff. I mean, it could be a number it, of things. Uh, one... They could have just wanted to drive people to the website to begin with, mm -hmm. even though they knew they were going to release this on some other station. Two, they could be trying to drum up, you know, people to go watch their other bullshit station now or whatever. Three, uh, they could have seen the backlash that sprung from when the creators came out and said, yeah, this is how Nick screwed us, and we're just like, oh, well, maybe we should give them a token gift to pretend they we care, but it's not working. All of the critics basically came out and were just like, are you kidding us, Nickelodeon? Like, who do you think is buying this shit? Well, I do, there is... I will admit there is something funny to just like, you know, fuck you, Nickelodeon! It's like, we're getting so angry at, like, a kid's network, <laughs> but it's like, it's the one show that's really it's adult on you, there. It's the one show that's really adult on there, and you don't treat your people like that. Mm. Like... That's really what it comes down to. It's like, oh, yeah, we want... Uh, here's your budget. Now, oops, no, we're taking your budget away. So the creators... Are, and that's the thing. Had this just happened out of nowhere, like, without the history that this show has... Yeah, it'd probably be more I doubt anybody... Yeah, yeah, nobody would have cared. We'd have been like, oh, Well, that some sucks. people would complain, but it's yeah, like, Yeah, I mean, whatever. we'd be complaining. We're like, oh, a clip show, this sucks. But to have the creators come out and have to explain this, because, yeah, after getting dicked around this much for four seasons of this show and just getting burned again and again and again, this is like the final insult, like, and to have the creators have to come out and explain, hey, we didn't want it this way, we decided to do it this way so that our people could get paid, just... There it is, Nickelodeon. <laughs> well, and the Sit thing and is, spin and enjoy. Whenever we see a clip show, it's like because we've heard commentaries and people talking. So we kind of know it's like clip shows are a way to save money to focus on other episodes. Yeah. Uh, in but the, but, honestly, but in the uh, case Amazon of Cora has never yeah. done that. Before, and in the case and, of Ember Island's players, that wasn't even a clip show. That was a recap. A, they but, re, it was a recap that they reanimated the entire thing from scratch. They were clever about it, <laughs> it and it came right before the giant finale. This just seems randomly placed to me. Like the funny thing, the because th there's not much to say. It, it is mostly a clip show. The only thing that I was like, the last third is sort of told through Merrick's, uh, uh, Merrick's, Merrick's uh, and that part's uh, point of view. Really hilarious. Yeah, and it's one of those things where it's like, why wasn't the whole thing like this? It's like I'm sure like they just had to rush and think of something really fast, and they have that. But I'm sure looking back, they're like. Crap, we should have made all of this Varric telling the story. It would have made it better. I mean, yeah. I can't I can't fault the creators and be like, you sucked at your clip show that you and, had to do. Like, honestly, yeah, for mean, what it was, it was the best that could have happened. I had a lot of people thinking that I was ripping on uh, the creators for it being a... No, I, 
they get off scot-free, as far as I'm concerned. This is more, and people are like, well, for a clip show, wasn't it bad? I agree, it could have been a lot worse. Um, and that's not, that's not the best recommendation you want to do. Well, no. it could have been worse. The first, the first <laughs> third, the first third or two thirds of it could have been a lot worse. It, it did, did what it needed to do. It's okay. And the third part was legitimately hilarious. Yeah. Um, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like it, for a clip show, like this came out pretty good. That's not the issue. The issue is not the quality of the clip show. It's the fact that Nickelodeon forced them basically to either not do a show at all you know, you cut out a full, short, cut, basically yeah. cut out, X out a full episode, or make it a clip show. Because it sounds like this was not that done. Sucks. Yeah, that this wasn't done at the beginning. Because I'm, I'm looking at this like, wait, it, it, you wouldn't do a clip show and have all these shots of just the camera, like, panning to the left or something, and have it all CG'd and say, it's like, no, they would know the budget better. This was something they said. The budget yeah. out of nowhere was slashed to the point that it amounted to about an episode. So yeah. they said, okay, so let's you know, save an episode, you know, it, it, employment for these animators and stuff, and have one that's just a real fast, easy clip show. Yeah, um, they, but, I don't know. They're, so, not, they're not fooling me. So, so, oh, we care about Cora, and we're going to give it a run on TV. You don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> don't even try, Nickelodeon. Don't even try it. You're talking. I, am angry, I love the way you're talking. You're bitter. talking like it's the bully of, like, your kid or something like that. Listen here, you little punk. You leave my core alone, okay? I don't leave like it. it. I alone. don't like it when art gets dicked around by people who don't know jack shit about art, and the end product suffers for it. Like we're not talking about a business that has saved Cora. It's Nickelodeon that has wrecked Cora almost from the beginning. Like that bothers me. And then to come out and try to pretend at the last second, well, we're giving it a run on TV. I'm like, bullshit. You didn't care about this show to begin with. Mm. So that it just really bothers me. And yes, I'm angry and bitter about that because this has been going on since season one. And then right before the end, we couldn't even go out on a strong point. We had to have the final insult with them forcing a clip show in. And otherwise, pretty perfect season so far. Yeah, it's so, really good. Speaking of which, we should probably yeah. get to uh, this anyway, actual Enough episode. about that. <laughs> uh, oh. This is an episode... Um, it, Put short, nobody really kind of wants Cora again, like in real life. Um, but nobody kind of wants her because uh, they feel like she can't handle it. She already lost this one major fight, and she's feeling kind of useless and stuff. So she tries to go into the spirit world and finds the um, the bag from the last season. It's like, here. As I hear, it is there. It's not even the spirit world. It's like this memory, and he's like blocking her somehow. So she feels that she goes and sees him all locked up in prison and stuff. That's somehow confronting him will help, uh, goes there, talks to him. He kind of sporadically wants to help. That's like my one problem is that he's just like, you know, yes, I heard she's crazy. We must stop her. It's like, where'd this come from? Yes, I'm all about chaos, but you know. Maybe if we didn't lose an episode to a clip show, it could have been drawn out more and made more sense, but. Um, so but they, I, don't, I don't disagree with you there. But it does, the, his motivation does make sense. Kind of like the, the fight we had in that other episode between Asami and Korra. It's just rushed too much. But yeah, his motivation makes total sense. Because he just has found out everything he wanted to do in Season 3 has not only been undone, but what he didn't want to have happen was a giant dictator running everything is now. So he's like, you know what, Alliance of Convenience, that's what I didn't want to have happen. But it's a, yeah, it's yeah. a quick transition so. stuff. So, yeah, I'm not faulting the logic, I'm faulting the, how quickly it came yeah. to it. And kind of the same thing with uh, her coming to her realization that she has to really give herself into what happened and, and not run away from it. It's, we kind of were doing before, but this is a little different. This wasn't as much getting the poison out as much as, like, kind of really going back to that moment and, like, kind of, like a better term, kind of dying in that moment, if that makes sense. I don't... I don't disagree. So, if I, I would have liked maybe half an episode at least going into that. Where, where this was if like only we had an seconds. extra 24 minutes. <laughs> Leave up alone. Oh, I don't know what you I needed did. A never be the I same. Need, I needed a pillow to scream into. <laughs> he will never be the same. Um, but, and then on top of that, we have the uh, the... Vines in uh, in Republic City, the spirit vines, are trying to attack people and stuff, and that's one of the reasons Cora's trying to help, because she's trying to help these people out. Uh, and she finds out that um, General Zelda's going, and she's taking these branches, and she's going to create this big... <laughs> Avatar literally went Avatar. 
Yes. <laughs> like, it's like this is literally something out of the plot to Avatar. We just chop down the big tree. Like, well, I thought, no, it's not the tree. That's why I thought I know, it's, it's just the it's branches. The vines. It's the which vines. I'm but, kind but of But I mean, glad. we all with the giant, with the mech robots there, like, yeah, we were all thinking really it's like, it's oh, okay. Don't do I don't, that, no, I, no. It, it's okay. I think it's it's not no, a bad so, plot point. No, something about, something about the gets branches. It the world involved. No, the so. branches makes more sense. Yeah. I really thought it was just going to cut down the whole tree. And it, maybe because we have seen, like, Ferngully and Avatar and stuff like that. But I like that it's more, we just need these elements. We don't want it's been, it's been pretty underplayed. Like, I, I honestly, I think it's cool, so I don't mind that. But it did make me think of Avatar, the movie. Uh, so she confronts it. She feels better. Um, <laughs> that's how a lot of the episodes uh, And Korra feels better. Um, and, uh, yeah, she goes off, and now they're going... Oh, and uh, Bolin and um, uh, other flying chick, whose no, name I'm forgetting. Ch oh, you caught me on the way. Yeah, see, I was yeah, gonna no, say Janora. It's not Janora. Uh, his B Bolin's girlfriend. Um, yeah, I'm forgetting her name. But they're gonna go one of the Bay Falls. Yeah, they're gonna go and save the family because in this very uh, daughter Bay Fong. Like, yeah, no granddaughter Bay Fong. I yeah. guess because if Lin, uh, let's uh, go with the chart. If you look at the chart, <laughs> uh, um, it's gonna piss me off all day. I'm gonna be trying to remember that name. I'm sure nobody in the comments will tell us at all. I've been, been correcting like... you too, and now they're gonna get me on one. It's <laughs> been a while. It's been a while. Uh, so <sighs> Kuvira, by the way, not Zelda. Yeah, I like General Zelda. I know. I actually, General I like General Zelda, Zelda too. Yeah. So, um, Don't we all. <laughs> so yeah. So they're uh, now they're gonna go off and they're gonna try and save the family because they had this long conversation about why they won't get involved with a preemptive strike. Uh, which again is a lot of talking, a lot of strategy, a lot, you know, a lot of interaction. I like I like the Fire Nation's very post World War II Japanese very, approach. Yes. Of, you know, we've kind of been doing this for a while now, and we're kind of out. So if you want any help, help a defense, <laughs> we're the guys to call. But we uh, don't think we should go marching into other nations. We got kind of a history there. <laughs> you know, there. I like how it seems like that. It seems to be a lot in this season, especially, of a lot of sitting down and talking with Jujutsu. I'd be like, do something! But everything they're talking about has such weight to it. And I think even for a kid, I remember watching the X-Men cartoon growing up, and I remember I didn't follow everything about, like, the mutant registration and stuff, but I, I felt adult watching it, and I kind of wanted to know more, and I wanted to try and understand it. I always feel like having, which is why, honestly, being on something like Nickelodeon is not bad, because it's like, well, okay, this is a kid show. It's for me, but I'm not getting it. I kind of want to get it. I want to understand it. So I like nope, this. No, no, no. You need to watch more Sponge SpongeBob! <laughs> um, so... Yeah, and the, the one thing I like the most out of this, uh, I don't know why this episode particularly, but something about the interactions off of everybody, even though it eventually turns into a chorus centered episode. <laughs> well, everybody I, got back together for one thing. Yeah, I love, and I, like, I love Bolin and uh, Varric marching in like, no, we have top secret information. Wow, we really should have led with that line. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I something about just... The whole episode seemed a lot of like just people interacting off of other people. It's a big not, not for comedy, but just legitimately working off each other. Well, for the did plot. you notice the theme really of this episode it. is Alliance of Convenience? Yeah. You've got like, we've got Varric and Asami shaking hands with her nearly mm. breaking it off, which was really cool. I love that scene. Um, we've got Bolin going off with. God damn it. Her. Like, her. <laughs> We're going to get such shit for that. He is. Um. Yeah, and those two don't like each other in the moment. Like this, they're bonding over this, you know, going to rescue Cora the and mother. The, the and movie. then we got, and then we got Cora and Zahir with the Hannibal Lecter moment. Yeah, um, I love that image of him floating in the chains. I think that's great. Yeah, so it, you know, and even amongst the council. It seems like there was some disagreement they're coming together just to agree on defense. So it's like, yeah, everybody's making all of these connections. I feel like we're getting into, like, the the final sort of fight, like, is coming up now within the next three or four episodes. I don't know how many are left, but... But, yeah. yeah I really enjoyed it. Yeah, you see what I mean, though? There's something about, like... It's not that it wasn't in the others, but it was usually, like... We're going to focus on this group, and then just this group, and maybe this person, this person. There's something about this one where everyone, like a lot of the main characters, all seem to kind of be in it, and they all sort of talked and worked off each other in a way that just seemed like, you know, you could almost give, like, some of these lines to, like, uh, a guard or something like that, or a general, whatever, but it's the fact that it's these characters, you see them working off each other, you just feel the camaraderie a lot more in this mm -hmm. one. I, I don't know why. Something about this one in particular, uh, I, I really felt that. And it's not like they put a ton of focus on it or anything. It just felt very natural, and I, I really like that about this one. Um, Great Varric line, too. 
Um, and you blew up the Southern Cultural Say, hey, that was my building. Should I have the right to blow up my own building? Yeah, I, Varric still, it's, that guy could do no wrong. I mean, he, he was the best part even in the Cliff Show. I, um, so, no, he, he was. He, he, he just, that quadruple phone call between Unalak and Amon yeah. and Zahir and <laughs> just killed okay, me. I think he's off the line. I'm still okay. here. Hello. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's a strong episode. Again, kind of, it's nice to sort of see, it, even though it, was, it felt kind of rushed, it's nice to see Coruscant over this thing. And I I like that angle enough of, like I said, sort of really giving yeah. yourself into, like, the fear to a point where it's like you almost die in that fear. But, like, after you go through that, like, all the way you well, can Well, really it's about letting go. So. Yeah. Uh, which I like. I mean, it's even though we kind of did that Just, before, it's, yeah. it, it, it felt a little different this time. It felt different enough, I should say. Um, so, so yeah, I, I like it. It was just rush, but I, I think letting go is a good moral, which is why I may forgive Nick in time. <laughs> 20, 25 years, maybe. Well, well, even the letting go, it seems like there's a sense, it's like, she was ready to move on, she was ready to move on, but it was still, like, there, and I like the idea of, like, Though really she did just... say, I'll never really get over it. Yeah. But I've learned to deal with it. That's that will be my approach to Nick. Yeah, I, I sort of like just going. Deal with you. I sort of like the aspect of just like you know, no, don't resist it. Like throw yourself into that pain. Yeah. Throw yourself into the fear. Like you know, like I said, almost like just sort of. Well, it, it's like, the Fight Club yeah. scene. It's when he's pouring the uh, the yeah, lie or whatever on his hand. It. It's like, come on, don't pretend to go away like all those dying people do. You know, feel it. So. Yeah, like, like really embrace it, which uh, there's a lot of philosophy to be uh, learned from that. Uh, now, don't stay there. That's why I stab <laughs> myself every day. Yeah, so. I, I, I'm going to kick myself in the eye with a fork right after this. Uh, can I help? Uh, I, I'm good enough on my own thing. Oh. You, maybe you can hold the camera. Sweet. Eh, but no, I don't want it. Everyone's like, stab yourself with a fork. I'm like, nah, not on camera. That's for my own pleasure. Uh, so, yeah, so it, I like it. I thought it was a good episode, and uh, don't know how many are left, but, um, yeah, looking forward to it. I'm excited. To yeah. Watch out. The final episode will be a clip show. show. <laughs> General Zelda uh, there is just like, oh, she's gone. Let's remember all the fun times we had. And yeah. <laughs> Budget cats. <laughs> so, there it is. I, I, I'm going to let you uh, groan yourself to peace and a place of accepting until you can forgive Nick for what has happened. Fuck acceptance. I need a scotch. What kind? Lafroy. <laughs>